developers to this package and that is called the Trading Stock Market Pro version and we're going to show really quickly how the package works and what you can achieve with it. So the idea is uh, whenever you download the package and you hit play, you will be able to display, as you can see here, different stock value uh, prices that are organized in different candles. The candles can be changed from size, as you can see here, um, and also you can zoom in and zoom out in function of your needs. In the top menu, you can also choose different indicators, such as the mean value of the evolution of the price, and you can also change the period of that mean value that will lead to different behaviors and uh, evolutions of the different stock market prices. Then uh, you can also change the cut value to something like uh, 99 for example. Let's use 99. And then if you go to chart and select this option here, you will be able to transform the chart into a uh, polygon mm, chart in which also the mean is displayed and you can also see that the cut value is there showing the uh, the places in which the function is going to change from positive to negative so you can see that we have these mountains here and here we can see the valleys that are produced by uh, considering the cut value in, uh, in this case 97. And another thing you can do is uh, to change between simulation and real-time data. So if we go to real-time data, uh, you will see that we are reading different prices here that are displayed in the editor mode, in the console of the editor but uh, it takes some time to display on the uh, screen. So meanwhile, I'm going to explain other features of this uh, asset. Uh, at the moment, you can see that the price is going to have the same value all the time, so it's difficult to see it. But in fact, what we are doing is uh, going to... Uh, here in chart, you can see the address, to this address here and we get the information through the PHP uh, website using uh, JSON files and we draw the values there. So uh, another feature we can see is that um, we can perform different operations or open different positions on the chart. So if you hit the buy operation you will see that now we are losing money here because the values are uh, lower than the uh, buying price and if we open a selling position we'll see that we have also a balance in which we can see uh, how the total benefit of the, of the open positions are going to affect our transactions. So the idea is that if you go to trade you can see the different open position and you can select which one you want to close at uh, any moment so you can see that we have this one that is uh, positive and this one that is negative and is going to be also updating the colors and the uh, arrows here in order to make different um, transactions so now we're losing some money but if we select to close all transactions that uh, information is sent to the uh, total capital of the of the user, and is going to change the uh, value of the of the money. Um, you can also check the history of the transactions we have done. So you can see that we have done a buying transaction and a selling transaction here, and uh, you can also add funds to the to the total capital of the player. So we have added some funds there. And um, finally, uh, in order to explain uh, how we can customize this application, we have added different colors. So you have the 
dark uh, mode here and you have also a um, clear or light mode for your, your app. So that's all regarding how uh, the, the uh, application works. Now let's go and explain a little bit what you can change in the application and how are uh, set the, the most important variables of it. So the idea is uh, inside, uh, when you open the scene, you will see something like this. Um, you will see a chart here. And just to notice, if we resize the uh, window, uh, all is uh, managed by uh, a canvas scale scaler. So if you go here to the simulator and you want to check different mobile devices, you will see that the uh, the game or the application adapts perfectly to the different uh, the different devices, as you can see. So we have all uh, we have mm, pretended or we have tried to create an application that is going to adapt to many screen sizes and many devices, and this is achieved thanks to UI elements. So everything that is here are UI. There is no special uh, things. Even these polygons here that you can see are also UI. So that's uh, like an explanatory uh, comment for you to notice. And uh, let's leave that there like that. And now we're going to explain uh, here in the chart, the chart script that is the main one, which are the main var variables. So we have all, uh, first of all, the date, data current size. This is a public uh, variable that we have added in order to show which are the real points that are being shown uh, in, the, in the chart. So you can also add a limit to the data size if you don't want to uh, overcome or surpass a limit. Then we have here are important uh, two uh, reference to what is called the corners. So the corners are used just for the, as you can see here, for setting the left and the and the right uh, part of the of the chart, and they are used to calculate the necessary factors, which are here that are called public factors, to adapt the different UI elements to the screen and make it. Uh, as you can see here, adaptable to different sizes and also uh, make it uh, clearer clearer for the user to see. So these are the corners. Then we have the width and the height theoreticals that are also two parameters that are used to perform those calculations uh, for the factors. And then we have uh, here, very important here, sorry, the URL in which we are going to get the information from the uh, URL whenever we are using the data from the server. Uh, then we have two data types, which are these two. And finally, we have the selected da data that will be the simulation or the URL that is an index only. Finally, uh, regarding the zoom and the display zone, we have um, the ticks to show. So whenever we change this, the ticks that are showing in the uh, canvas are going to reduce themselves. Then we can select also candles or polygons. So this is changed by pressing this button here. Okay, so by pressing that we change from polygons to candles. It's really easy to understand. You can see how it changes there. And uh, then we have the selected indicator, which also changes when we select the, uh, this uh, toggle here from is going to change from none to the mean value. Um, finally, uh, regarding other uh, parameters that are, are quite important are this here, which are um, the tick latency, which is used to uh, perform um, the different uh, lectures or readings from the the server or creating a new value for the last uh, y value or price here okay 
So whenever we get to um, at the tick latency here, we, we see that the values are being changed uh, correspondingly. And those values in, in simulation uh, mode need these parameters that are min seed value, max seed value, volatility and the fork. So the fork is going to be the difference between the bid and the ask. And the volatility is going to determine how these values change. For example, if we increase the volatility uh, to 100, you understand really fast what happens. You can see that it's really volatile and this is going to make the function change from one body to another really fast. Okay? So that's regarding simulation. And then uh, we have here reference to the menus and some prefabs. And finally, another thing that you can use is the balance benefit here. So for example, if we hit buy, you can see that the balance, the total balance here is set uh, on top, on the, the top right part of the chart and it's going to be also displayed in this uh, public variable. So you can see that it's quite stable. Uh, you can use this for real-time data or for simulated data. But at the moment we are not uh, able to get information uh, about historical data because uh, the service is not free. If you need to implement that, you can uh, contact us and we can help you to implement those aspects. Um, regarding the prefabs uh, and other scripts, what you have to understand is that each object is going to be stored in a list. So we have a list of lines, a list of polygons, and a list of positions. So in order to you to understand which is which, uh, and we have also the candle. So the candle is this object here, this object here that has the maximum and minimum value and then the open and close values for the transaction. The line is going to be this in object in yellow that is a line, okay? So you can check that that's a line. And finally, if we uh, create the different polygons, this object there is going to be the polygon, as you can see here. Inside, let me see, polygon, for example, that's a polygon clone that you can move if you want, that's that portion. So, in order to create those objects, we need a script that is attached to them. So, for example, for the candle, we, we need a special script that is the candle, for the line, the line, and for the position, the position. So that's all regarding how the um, scripts work in a really basic way and uh, how you can um, modify a little bit the package in order to adapt it to your own uh, data, uh, simulated data. If you want to use real-time data, you only have to change this address here and adapt a little bit the JSON format that is in the chart script. Thanks for watching this tutorial, I hope you like this package and you consider downloading it and uh, use, uh, using it in your projects in order to create impressive trading applications for your customers. Thanks very much for watching again.